For some more March to War number two. This is Act Two of that one. What we've come got coming up is Stage One. There's the ally Heath here, who you win at the end of it. Um, keeping with the same team, we've got the Shiva in there. Molly is leader with a plus 24 crit, and then Andrea, Angela, and Jesus alongside the other two. And then we've got the ally of Heath in there, which gives another plus 8 crit. So all up, gaining about 32 plus crit off the leaders alone. So hopefully that should be enough to get us through these stages. Uh, even though I do have a few 5 stars in there, they're not upgraded. Uh, Shiva's tier 3 and the other two are only in the tier 1s there. So not overly powering five stars just yet but they will be once they get upgraded a bit more now we're up to the third wave here they're getting a fair few headshots i'm um, having the all melee team except for heath there the ally means we're going to get blocked a few times uh by these obstacles and barriers that are put up but that's okay as long as they're making the headshots when they're filtering through uh that won't cause too much hassle other than if they occasionally get stuck behind you've got to wait a few turns for them to come out annoying but manageable so I'll just continue on I, I usually don't use the rushes but in these early stages like I always say rushes tend to kill the zombies straight out uh, people too so you use them uh, usually in the later stages I don't use my rushes as much because I want to not lose that chance for a headshot if you're losing that headshot um in the later stages it can really hurt you so that's why i don't use the rushes because in the later stages they're not going to kill unless you got someone like an andrea with an 800 percent or a shiva with 800 percent then you're not guaranteed you're going to kill an enemy or a zombie uh, so even with that 800 percent you're not 100 percent sure when they gets up to them higher ratings but but enough with that, let's continue on here. Uh, we've got rid of Heath, so we no longer got that plus 8 crit. Uh, it's a little boost, it's not going to affect us too much, I imagine, in the headshot department. Still got the major uh, crit chunk from Molly there, which is the plus 24. And then we've just got Josh. Like I say, in these early stages, I tend to use allies from my faction that don't have crit in them, just purely because I don't really need that extra boost just yet. Um, Molly here does have a good chunk of crit at 24 so I'm not needing that extra boost yet and they're still getting a fair few amount of headshots in. Uh, in the later stages when it gets a bit tough then I tend to bring in uh, my allies that have the crit there just to get that extra boost and um, make sure I'm making that bit more headshots just purely because if I was to stick with the other allies without the crit then I'm gonna not be getting as many headshots um, in those later stages but we'll just continue on to our stage three here once again just choosing Joshua um, this is probably a bit more favorable right now choosing him because uh, he'll give the plus 20 percent attack and defense right here uh, I didn't change my weapons didn't change my leader did not change my battle items didn't set them up for people or anything like that uh, like I say in these early stages you can get away with that if you have a decent rating team mine's only an A here you can get away with not having to change up your team weapons and leader for the people orientated stages which means you're looking for the attack and defense um definitely you could have I could have strengthened this team a lot more by bringing in Josh or someone as leader, even Jesus, putting Jesus in there as leader, I could have done that uh, to get the attack and defense sort of things and then doubled up on it with the ally there. But I wasn't too worried because these guys should get through it fairly comfortably. It's only stage three. Uh, in stage six or seven, something like that, it'll be a lot harder. So then I'll have to probably change up my team. But then again, this is only the early act. So might not have too much trouble but we'll see how we go uh to how many people stages we run into usually there's more there's a few people stages uh chucked in but it's more zombie stages which i really like i 
tend to struggle more with people than zombies. I know it can be the opposite for some, but most of the time I set up teams and I can set up a better zombie team than a people team unless I'm going really high um, with some of my S1 plus teams and things like that. With these lower ones you have to work a bit more and be uh, really critical of the battle items you're bringing in and how you're using them. So we'll just continue on to stage 4 here. We're up to the second wave already. Like I said, these guys are getting a good amount of headshots in. Uh, we brought in Michonne here, who's only really given the crit to Shiva, but that's alright. Um, a little bit of boost to her and Shiva should go away. It's not really helping out the other ones, but that's okay, because they've got Molly there helping them out. So we should still get a good amount of headshots in. Of course, when, when Shiva does the critical hit, you'll see she does the splash damage with some. Um, when it comes to... in the, It's more effective in the earlier stages where you can kill zombies a lot quicker and um, with less damage. So she can sometimes kill up to three zombies and things like that, and people are. So it's really valuable in these earlier stages. In the later stages it becomes less effective but it's still a solid little trait to have there or a specialist skill. Um, but overall, as you saw before, those zombies are getting stuck in behind. Sometimes annoying but we're doing alright. We're on the last wave here. We just got to headshot these last few and that's that done. Uh, so that's stage four done. Thanks for watching.